All right, let's take a minute to look at tool nose compensation, or TNC, you may also see it as TNR, tool nose radius compensation. So most turning tools are going to have a radius to the end of them. And for us, it's usually a 30 second, so 31 thousandths roughly. In order to machine accurate tapers or radii, you must turn on tool nose compensation. This is done with a G40, one G42, much like cutter compensation is done on a mill, except uh, center line programming with tool nose radius compensation would be almost impossible without just using tool nose radius compensation. The only thing that doesn't need to be compensated would be just straight cuts. So if I'm just straight turning on the OD or ID, or I'm just facing then that would be acceptable but you can see here then because this is the uh, theoretical tip of the tool as you touch it off because when you touch it off on the Z you touch this to the face of the part and set that as a Z face or you touch it off in the X you set it here until it, that's the X diameter so that is why it will work in just straight turning applications but not taper or radii applications so we scroll up here a little bit you'll see G41 is to left so typically ID turning internally inside something G42 is OD turning which we're really going to use mostly in order to use tool nose radius compensation correctly you've got to turn it on just like you did with uh, cutter compensation on the mill so you have to make a move as you're making this move you're turning compensation on so there'll be a portion of your code which is just dedicated to turning on G41 G42 mostly G42 again because we're compensated at the right here is your program part path so you're to the right of it G41 here's your program part path you're to the left of it come up here you can see here's the compensated tool path tool comes in turns on compensation here and there is the compensated tool path for that part same thing here so this is part of this is done in the control you'll see that which I'll make another video showing you where the tip designation is put and where the radius designation is put in the control but needless to say this is another one of those things where the setup and the programming have to match in order for it to be accurate because there's a tip formation to to this as well and the tip formation is based upon where you're going to be using so as you see here here are some of the codes that can be used with tool nose compensation X Z U W all axis vectors we're aware of I and K we don't need to worry about so much so as we change tools when we call up T101 we're calling up the offset as well as a tool so that all that information that gets put into those charts in the setup can be used for this compensation so if you want to go see what your tips different tips look like then we'll come here most often used tip is going to be number three for ID turning zero is when it's not you're not using compensation so if you're back turning you may use four and yeah other than that I mean this just really varies but mo for the most part we're going to be using a tip three so if you don't turn on cutter comp accurately or tool nose radius compensation then you're not going to get correct radii and chamfers.